Well, hello there, Pokemon Masters, and welcome back to yet another episode of Pokemon Tempest. We're nearly at the end of the series, and with just another two more main episodes to go, any support on the series is appreciated, whether that's picking up the posters on the merch store, whether that's supporting on Patreon, or whether that's just liking and commenting the videos, or ideally watching the entire playlist on 0.25 times speed for that extra watch time in the background. Any support on this channel is so, so, so appreciated, and thank you for allowing me to do a project like this. In the last episode, you got your eighth gym coin, and of course you have the ability to surf. So you surf west from Atlantis, heading towards Rumble Town. With what feels like a Tempest brewing, you know that the technology of Melantis is the only way that you would ever be able to leave the Tempest if it starts. Maybe you should just return home, but no. You have your eight gym coins, and you know that not all outsiders are bad. You need to find Cass and her Pokemon Titaphon and stop them before it's too late. Surfing east and heading towards Rumble Town, you will encounter a few Pokemon on the water. Temferno and Warice both roam these oceans, as well as Draken, which if you want one, you now can finally catch. It's an incredible Pokemon, and with its dark dragon typing, it would make a fine addition to anyone's team. Additionally, you can find Explamarian or Pisces, and watch out with what you're reeling in with that super rod. Agron can be found, but it's very, very rare. You might also notice that as a result of past battles, two more regional evolutions are about to happen. It's finally time to see what Dublade and Kadabra become. Here they go. And here we have it. This is Solympian Aegislash, a noble sword pulled out of the sea in a storm. Legends tell that the spirits of heroes themselves forge into this Pokemon. To wield one is to avenge the heroes of the past. It is a steel fairy type and an excellent addition to the team. And here is the other. If you evolved the Kadabra or caught an Abra earlier in the journey, you can now evolve it into a Solympian Alakazam. It is a psychic electric type, and its Pokedex entry tells us that this Pokemon aids heroes by teaching them great magic. With mastery over the elements, a storm that would plague a nation could in fact become this Pokemon's ultimate weapon against the forces of darkness. As you surf, you notice the storm is blowing and you are being pushed and pulled around in the water. You actually have very little control about where the wind takes you and the waves get so aggressive that in fact, much like the rapid water in other regions, you're quickly forced onto the beach back at Rumble Town, which is where you are heading anyway. Crash, did you hear that crash? Crash? I did. That tree fell over right in front of me, Mello. I could have been squished. Oh, I'm glad you weren't. I don't know what I'd have done without you. Mello. Crash, I... Oh, it's you. The champion from Off Island. What are you doing here? Never mind that, you interrupted. Ugh, never mind, take this. Finish them, Spook Hoot. You and me together, Mello. Go, slacking. Whoa. Looks like you've interrupted something important. Let's get this out of the way quickly. I'll always fight when Mello needs me to. Come on out, Walrice. Oh, Crash, I can't stand it anymore. Who needs Snoozeland? We have everything we need right here. Let's show him, Snorlax. Um, okay. D this is getting kind of strange. Uh, let's just try and focus on taking them down. Since we got back to Rumble Town, I caught a Snows and trained it up to be just like yours, Crash. Wait, you mean... That's right, go Dozermon! I have one just like that. Dozermon, I choose you too! Whoa, okay, this is a new Pokemon, and if I'm not mistaken, this is the final evolution of Snows. This is... Dozermon? Is that... 
Is that really its name? This Pokemon is a normal type with a huge attack power. According to its Pokedex, this is the most recent Pokemon to be discovered in Solympia. Discovered when Team Snooze leveled up their Zlumber while it was asleep, and they got naming rights over this Pokemon, which is why it's called Dozamon. A new true Team Snooze mascot. For Snooze Land? For Team Snooze. Uh, we'll never be able to build a snooze land if we keep losing, but it doesn't matter. You're right, because we have the only thing that matters. Each other. Oh, Crash. Oh, Mellow. It looks like, it looks the, like sweetest the sweetest of dreams, of dreams, dreams for, for Team snooze. snooze. Okay, then. Well, I'm glad it worked out for them, I, I guess. Was that a plot line all along? I mean, <clears throat> with the palm trees blocking your way back to Rumble Town and being unable to fly in this storm, your only option is to take Route 3, the coastal route that leads back to Trickle Town. As you walk along the path, there are plenty of trainers in front of this original route that will be ready for a rematch with their Pokemon at a much higher level. Didn't I battle you on Route 1? Finally, it's time for some payback. Blimey, your Pokemon is stronger than this wind. Aren't you supposed to be some kind of hotshot trainer or something? However, as you train along this route and battle opponents, the weather changes drastically. First, the wind blows, leaves dance around you, and you recognize a face that you saw once in the Elderwood Forest. It's Guyonis. It's flying around you, and now you get to look at this Pokemon and you learn its Pokedex entry. Guyonis is the Earth Mother Pokemon. Riding on the wind, it carries seeds and berries across the earth, fertilizing the land. In ancient times, it was decided that this Pokemon must have planted a seed in the ocean, and when that seed grew, it became the Solympia region. Guyonis will look at you, but as rain begins to fall, Guyonis disappears, and it now appears on your map, being in the Elderwood Forest Temple, should you want to battle it. The rain continues to pour, and as you make your way along the route, soon a puddle becomes pools of water, and from one of them rises a face that you remember from from your time in Kakariko's town. It is Ocetus, the Sea Protector Pokemon. It's a water type Pokemon, and the Pokedex will tell you this, that there was a time where there was no land, only ocean, and the sea sacrificed part of itself that people and Pokemon might live, and this lost appendage became Ocetus, who continues to offer us the gift of life as a sign of the ocean's goodwill. It cries out, and as it does, the skies begin to clear. It washes itself away into the ocean, and it will now appear on your Pokedex on the Nightmare Isle Cave. On the bridge, the sun beams hotter than you expected. A powerful blast of warmth passes you like a fireball, and the flying fire type Heliphos soars into the sky, the Sun Child Pokemon. The Pokedex reads that once Mount Solympia was much larger and its tip touched the sun. Its tip caught fire and burned away, and that ember that remained became Heliphos. Its warmth allowed people and Pokemon to survive off the island, or so the legends say. Your Pokedex says this as you watch it fly into the distance. This Pokemon will now appear on Victory Road, the climb to Mount Solympia's tip. As this Pokemon passes you, you'll make it all the way around the route, and you'll find yourself face to face with someone from the beginning. Hello there, champion. I say, what extraordinary weather we're having. I can see everything. I know this is no ordinary weather, and I saw Cass not long ago storm through here and to Mount Olympia. She's gone to challenge the champion and perform some sort of ritual. The ritual of the Tempest. The future is unclear. Past tomorrow, I cannot see. Champion, if you wish to return to the outside world, to the other regions of our planet, then now is the time. Get on a boat and set sail. If the Tempest begins, you'll be trapped here for who knows how long. You wish to help to stop a new Tempest from ever starting? If you fail, dear champion, you'll have to live here for however long the Tempest lasts. That could be months. It could be years. Legends speak of a hundred-year Tempest. Cass's will is strong. Surely the storm would be a long one. Are you sure you would not rather leave? You'll stay and try to stop the Tempest. I should have known. I'm supposed to be able to see things, you know. But still, past tomorrow I cannot see. Go to Route 1, north to this Olympia Passage. Our friend Professor Lawrence has been using his Snebble to carve out new habitats. In doing so, he has reopened an old path that leads up to Victory Road. From there, you'll meet the champion at Mount Olympia's peak, the Pokemon League. Go, dear trainer. Time is of the essence. Well, Pokemon Masters, what can I say? 
it seems like you're now heading up through this Olympia Passage, up Victory Road. This path is winding and ducks in and outside of the mountain. Many powerful trainers train here, as well as plenty of powerful Pokemon ready to join your team, including Zlumber, Snorlax, and Embers, high-level Cyrox, and more. In the outside areas, gusts of winds and changing weather makes traversing unpredictable. And as I mentioned earlier, along this path, the Pokemon Heliphos appears. And in fact, if you were to detour around the region before coming to challenge the Elite Four, you could add all three of the legends to your team. It looks like this is it. You and your team, whoever you've chosen, are heading to the final challenge. And I want to know who your teams are in the description down below. However, if you caught a Kyo Kyo, a Meteon or Comice, a Ponita or Rapidash, an Arachnit or a Wimper, you might want to keep them to hand, as they may well evolve as you take on the Pokemon League. But that's for next time, in the next episode, episode 19 of Pokemon Tempest. This is it. Just two more episodes to go. Thank you everyone so much for watching and for the support. It really means the absolute world to me that you are loving this series and still watching. If you'd like to support the channel by picking up the poster or any of my other posters on the merch store, please do you do so and use that discount code while it's still available to you. The final two episodes of Pokemon Tempest will be out over the next two days, so look forward to it and enjoy. Also, don't forget, if you want to talk about your Pokemon Tempest team, we have a whole community over on Discord where we're sharing art and talking about the series. I hope you're all having an amazing holiday. Feel free to join that. All of the links you need are, as always, in the description. And of course, Soul High Pokemon Masters.